Folks, we are back. This time we're going to be working with uh, Nala. I do believe she is nine to 10 months old. She's a hound mix. She's at the end of her five week obedience course. Um, we're just gonna be going over everything that she's learned. Um, she is she is very proficient in some things and some things she's not. So well, we take dogs at where they're at and we grow on, grow on what they know and to give them a really good foundation of the overall obedience course. Normally she'd be sitting right here with me, but we're practicing some of the commands, um, like the stay command. So I actually put her in a crate. I'm gonna uh, make her stay and wait in another room and come out and work her on hand and verbal commands as she comes out. We're gonna just work in this room because that's where she's at. She's at that at the point to where we're just able to work in close and um, in close areas with her for now. And in time that'll grow. But for right now, this is where she's at. All right. Um, we're using my man Linus here. What's up, Linus? Big guy. You're just up moving around. Hmm? You you're a little upset that you're in the observation page? He's actually sitting in the observation cage. Um, I want him to observe everything. Um, we do have another Max. He's a white German Shepherd that's been in the observation cage a little earlier. Stay tuned to videos for him as well in the next couple days. Uh, he'll be in this position observing. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. gave her a sit and a stay command. And I didn't even do it verbally. I opened up the crate, gave her a sit and a stay, and she's waiting for me to give her the come command. She actually got up to C-O-M-E because I actually said the word and she's, she's at that stage still to where whenever you, if you say the word, she'll do it. And you can't get mad at her because she's obeying. Some dogs won't even see on your knee when you call them. Nala, come. Come on. Stop. Stay. part to where she's good when she wants to do it and when she don't want to do it she'll just break down so I got her in the stay position and purposely messing around a little longer to see if she will stay there you should be able to come to business with your dog in the stay command Space. <coughs> we 
one of them is on it also in the open space. Now, good girl, now, uh, good girl, mama, yeah, you're doing good. Some of these dogs, I'm telling you, and she's a good dog to stay. There's also distraction outside, big dog outside there that she's staring at. She knows there's something outside. Some of these dogs, you don't think they're going to pass the five-week obedience, and it's like that last week, they start clicking on all cylinders, and she's one of those dogs that really this week, she really picked the game up, all right? Has she been running on all eight cylinders? Well, she's a little dog on all four cylinders. Has she been running on all four cylinders? Here last week, we would have been doing dog placement. But like I said, we work at the pace that they're at, you know. Hi, mama. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi, little papa. Yeah, that's my girl. Mm -hmm. Come around. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Now we am going to go ahead and prep her food. Let me give her this treat. Now I'm going to mess with this guy that's been observing. Minus. Linus came here, what's today? Wednesday? He came here on Monday. I'm telling you, I'm looking for big things from this dog. There are some things that he really, this video isn't about Linus, it's all about now, but he's observing right now. He's doing a lot of good things, but he's also doing his own thing. He's used to getting his way. That could be really, really hard to train a dog that's used to get in your way. But we've been working. In two days, we've been working on that up command. And you can see he's doing it. So I don't know if you guys noticed. I haven't, I just gave her just the command to stay. Well, I said it now, but I didn't want to say it. And she should be in it. That's the one thing we've really been working on. Her coming and her staying. It's our two biggest things, right? So we've been really working on that. The reason why we've had problems with that stay command, because of separation anxiety, getting her comfortable. Now she's comfortable enough, she can sit in that position for three minutes easily. But I'm not, of course, I'm not going to make her wait that long. It's going to prep her food. I'm out of sight. She can't see me. So although she can't see me, she's looking for me. That's what we want.
tight. She's actually doing really good. Um, normally I will go back out and get the water, but I don't have to do that because I know she's going to wait for me because at the end of the day, she sat there patiently. I peeked around the corner a couple times to look. She's looking for me. She's sitting nice and patiently. And a couple weeks ago, or even last week, waiting would have been one of the things where she would get up and probably go to the camera person. Or get, go get up and go and check out this cage. Or get up and go to that door because there's a big dog out there. But she sat patiently, which is telling me she's picking up when I'm putting down, which is a good thing. Now, we're also going to practice the out command. Now, eat. anticipated it. Let her get good into it. Now, out, out. Good girl, Papa Luby, yeah. Good girl, eat, eat. Okay, guys, that is 10-month-old Nala. She's a hound mix. She's at the end of her five-week obedience. She is doing quite well. She really picked up, um, picked up the pace here in the last week. She's actually going home tomorrow. And what she does know, she knows well. If her owners continue to keep up, um, keep up the exercises that we gave her, she's going to be a really good dog and a well-obedient dog. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing other videos from the Wolf King Pack. Over and out.